you can just type wire shock wire shock then you can see the first one is the official website go inside download learn go beyond so we download and install it first here our system is 64 bit so download and install this one here you see I already downloaded my wire shock here so we are cancel this one go to my download folder and install it if you want to have an overview about this wire shock you can go to a wikipedia about this wire shock here what wire shock and uh, what we can do with this wire shock is a free and open source packet analyzer. Packet is a data packet transferred on the internet. Usually, the data is packed together into a packet, and we will see how to pack data and unpack data. And it's used for network troubleshooting, analysis, software and communication protocols, development, and education. Originally named Israel, the project was renamed Wireshock in uh, May 2006 due to uh, trademark issues. So it's a uh, quite nice tool. So now I install this Wireshock here. I think I saved. And this place, towards 250. Uh, see this wire shock. By default, it's under your download folder. I just moved here. And use default settings. Here, use default settings. Use default settings. Install this MP cap 1.10. USB pickup, we don't uh, do USB stuff, so don't install it. Install this MP cap here. Just leave it uh, as default. Okay, right, this uh, MP cap is done. Finish. Then the wire shock continues. Next, finish. Okay, our uh, well, wire shock is installed. Now we can use wire shock to capture some network uh, packets. Uh, open it. There's a wire shock network analyzer. Here you can see the Ethernet is zero. Is the Ethernet uh, hell on my virtual machine? Double click it. Can see, check this place. Here, start, stop, restart, uh, restart current uh, capture, stop capturing packets. Now you see some packs DC, DHCP v6. We can uh, refresh this one. So we request some data from this uh, Wikipedia website. Then you will see lots of packets uh, captured. So let's stop it and uh, have a look about these uh, packets captured. Here, these are the packet uh, number from packet one to to the packet I captured so far. 
one, two, three, four, five, and so on. Here's time the source from where you can see it from my, this one is from my local machine. This is my Windows server. And this point two is the router uh, VMware player router, built in router. The DNS, DNS, we want to find uh, here. It won't found the IP address of this uh, enwikipedia.org. Right? What's the IP address of this uh, Wikipedia? Send, send to uh, send out a DNS request. Then you can see this DNS query. Then you get a DNS response. So this response, we will get the IP address of this. Uh, Wikipedia website. Now, for each packet, for example, let's choose this one. This uh, standard query response. In the middle panel, you can choose uh, each packet on this top panel to view what's inside that packet. Right? For example, this uh, this one inside that packet. We have uh, five layers here, actually four, four layers here. This frame, it contains everything. The link layer is the Ethernet layer. Then the Internet protocol is the IP layer. The user data protocol, the UDP, is the TCP layer. And the domain name system is application layer. These are the four layers. we just discussed here link layer internet layer transport layer application layer here dns right we can map this one dns the application layer here domain name system and a user data gram protocol here this is the user data gram protocol udp layer then you come to this uh, internet protocol version ip layer here the IP layer, then the Ethernet, here the Ethernet, the link layer. So in this link layer, you can see your physical address, the MAC address. Right, you see the physical address, destination, and the source. Then in this uh, IP layer, internet protocol, you can see the IP address, source, destination, and the user datagram protocol, the transport, con transport control layer. Here you can now, we have something interesting. We have port numbers, source port, destination port. Here this is a source port. We know this is uh, a DNS re query response. This port number 53 is uh, used by DNS as a standardized port number. And uh, we will see a list of standardized port number. Then you come to this uh, application layer, the main name system. Right, you can see the queries here, the query we we ask for the IP address of this uh, EN Wikipedia.org is also replied from the server. You see the answers here. The answer, the IP address of this uh, Wikipedia web page is this one 208.80.154.224. This is the IP address. How do we install Wireshark on Ubuntu? You can always find some resources online. Install uh, Wireshark on Ubuntu 20.04. Then you will find uh, lots of uh, online articles.
Usually, just go through it uh, quickly to see which one is suitable to you. Then you can go through the steps to install Wireshark. Here, update it, upgrade, download and install. Then enable root privileges. Here, should nine users be able to capture packets and we will choose a yes to allow other users to use Wireshark. Here, reconfigure permission settings. You can use this one. This command, dpkg reconfigure Wireshark command. Right, there are lots of online resources. So now you press Control Alt T, Control Alt T, to open a terminal window. Here you see a terminal window is uh, open for me with a shortcut. You can also go from here. Type terminal term. Then you see this mate terminal. Right? This mate terminal. You have practiced this one in uh, lab one. Practice some basic commands. Okay, now I follow those command to install this Wireshark. First, update. sudo apt update. Update and upgrade the system. Here I uh, have some problems. It says it's uh, about this Microsoft stuff. Don't worry about that, just skip it. So do apt upgrade. Press Y, yes. Work installation on Ubuntu. Now sudo apt install Wireshark. yes and here please pay attention should nine users be able to capture packets use your tab key right choose yes and press enter this is a very uh, important step Okay, where shock is uh, installed. Suppose if you made a mistake in that step, you choose the no the privilege stuff here if you choose the no instead of yes how do you change it you can use this command we can have practice to have a look sudo reconfigure where shock can see here yes or no come back again use your tab key to choose a yes press under here we need to uh, add a username to this Wireshark group so that this user can use Wireshark
So we just uh, add a login user account. sudo use mod dash a g shock here your name you can use this one user this is your your login uh, username press enter how do I know this uh, one is uh, is I is me you can say uh, who am I now you see I'm this I instructor so you should use your first name as in our first lab when you install you want to use your first name I want to know that a user is me right here you see user is me now we can launch a uh, wire shock type wire shock right that comes out here we we can close it and uh, from this manual wire shock you can also go from here but now you see uh, it didn't show the Ethernet, the Ethernet card, the adapter the network adapter here right? you see this stuff it's just a horizontal line, nothing happened. And my Ethernet adapter not show up here here. So we need to log out and log in again. Log out. And type your wire shock. Uh, we still didn't see whether we can catch. We didn't see our Ethernet adapter show up here. So now, how do we solve that problem? From that uh, web page, we just follow those steps but we still cannot see we can capture the packets right we don't follow this one when you scroll down we also added a, a user into that shock group but we cannot capture now how do we solve it Here is another tutorial, but this one it uses sudo wire shock, run as root user. We just choose we can run as a as a normal user, right? And we also choose allow non root user to be able to capture the packets. So I know we also didn't see uh, how to saw it here. So we need to uh, find a solution. None root wire shock here. And the none root not working on this one. You can open it to see anyone uh, solve this problem nobody answered check another one here add to the group we already did 
new group wire shock. So do we have a group wire shock? Wire shock. We can uh, open a terminal. Get end group. Here you see we have wire shock and. Uh, as I, the instructor, am inside Wireshark, so we don't need to create a, a group Wireshark. Okay, maybe we need to reboot our computer if we still cannot hear, but you see it just says just log out and log back, and it uh, worked. But in our Ubuntu, we see this does not work. We can try sudo to have a look first sudo wireshock now you see uh, when I type sudo this device uh, popped up and you see on this device we have package happen and this device is the uh, Ethernet adapter in my computer, you can click capture, start capture, and you see this stuff. And stop it. Right, you can see this uh, capture package. The interface is identical as the interface we use here on Windows, so we will not repeat. We just want to solve the problem to capture as normal user. How do we do that? In our lab, I got some reference. Here, in our lab 04, scroll down, go to the references, install Wireshock. Here is Wireshock, capture privilege. Here, how do we change the privilege? Go to a uh, Ubuntu, most Unixes. Here, what can we do? We use this one, this command, and start up where shock as non root user. And we also added this stuff, right? Add a username to the group. We want to uh, follow this one, other Linux system. But for that Ubuntu stuff here, Ubuntu, install Wireshark. By install Wireshark, package non root user want to gain rights automatically to capture packets to allow this one. We need to follow this. Uh, explanation on Ubuntu. So now we can follow this one to see whether we can solve it. Here add the add to the workshop group. We are done that this reconfigure it. We wanted it so we still didn't see Allow non root user to capture packets. So we may have a try. Try this stuff. First, we need to find that a user has been whether we have that dump cap. No such files, so we don't have this dump cap on Ubuntu, right? This is for other Linux based system. So we have we don't have this one.
So let's see whether we have uh, any working reference to use. Dump cap, we don't have this dump cap. Sometimes it may be inside here in user bin. So we can try whether it's inside that user bin. We have, have it here and this is user bin. So then we can use this command. Copy it, paste here, user bin dump cap. Okay, we have done this step, then start it as non root user. Ensure you see the list of interfaces and can do live capture. So we can run via shock again. This time I didn't run it as a root user, right? We run from here, which means we don't use a root. You run from command window, you use sudo, it will uh, show up. But here we still didn't see it. We want did it, but we still uh, cannot capture it. And we can have a uh, other also try this one. So do change owner root user pen dump cap then so do change mode your plus s user pen dump cap okay we have done this stuff we want to run via shock again without that sudo as without sudo which means we run as a normal user okay now you see the show up we solved this problem you can uh, Let's uh, run it from this menu. You see, it's solved the problem. Run as normal user. Okay, it uh, does not show up here, but it did show up here, right? When I tap a uh, wire shock from here, it show up. Let's log out. Uh, log in again. Currently. Uh,